Hi YouTube, this is your girl Simply Love, and I'm here to do your mid-month, yeah, mid-month reading. These months going by so fast, y'all. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the sign of uh, Virgo. Okay. Um, this can be for the cross watchers. Remember, we're gonna look at the cards with you know no gender because this is what worldwide. Uh, the energies can go vice versa, you know. This is worldwide, so we just, you know, it's a broadened out reading, okay? It could, you know, resonate to some, but not all, you know. You're welcome to look at my other videos, okay? If uh, if you haven't gotten any information here, if it wasn't for you, it just wasn't for you. Check out your uh, other signs that's in your natal chart. If you don't have your natal chart, you can go online and look at natalchart.com or other entities or other places that you can go to to find out what it is you'll need your name date of birth place of birth uh you need the time uh most people don't have the time you have to go to your um vital records for that if you don't have it on your birth certificate and just put all that information in and it'll bring up everything about you okay everything about your blueprint of you okay all right let's get it going on here Virgo, Virgo. I want to just take this time. I want to take this time to honor our Creator and our spirit guides and ancestors for being here, for giving us the help with the bringing on these messages for whoever, for whatever purpose it may be, for the for the best, for the best, and for the greater good. Thank you. Now let's keep it going here, Virgo, Virgo. What's y'all up to? Let's see what I'm thinking about, Virgos. Virgo, you better watch out for a snake in the grass. That's what I'm hearing. A snake in the grass. This could be, if it's general, it could be like anybody. It could be a friend that you think is a friend and not. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. Or it could be an ex. Okay? You need to watch your back at this time. That's what I'm hearing from spirit, uh, Virgos. Be careful because I feel like this person is charming or come across as charming, but um, once things don't go their way or something I'm keep hearing, once they don't go their way, they will act like a kid, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Acting like a kid, whining, crying. And it's going to put you in an emotional state. Somebody's trying to take you off your game, Virgo. Somebody don't like your light. Okay, you, your light is shining bright at this time. Because a lot of you Virgos, if you look at my past videos, I figure like the past two years, you guys were going through it. And you can go back and watch them. Some of you has crossed over that mountain. You've made it. You're on top. But still... Because of we're entering out of this uh, retrograde season, it's still a little lingering on because there's some <clears throat> Piscean uh, uh, energy as well still lingering on, but we are out of it. Uh, the Mercury retrograde is about, you know, the planet rotating backwards. So things come back around from the past and all this type of shit. Sorry, my bad. It's all this type of stuff. <laughs> and um, we got some snakes crawling around deeper than ever now because uh I, I feel like somebody's watching you keeping tags on you somebody is going through going to your friends or somebody you know and talking they're trying to get next to you or something like that for some of you i'm hearing that somebody's really thinking about you because they're suffering some karma or something. They're going through some karma. They're going through a mess. They a hot mess, Virgo. And they want you to come clean it up. Because they know you like a good cleanup person, okay? And that's all they expect out of you. There's nothing else that's changed, all right? That's what I'm hearing. All right, now let's get on with your reading. Uh, let's see. Uh, four of Wands. 
Four of Wands is a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo. It could be uh, in somebody's natal chart as well. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that particular sign, but that's what this card, the energy of this card represents. Somebody could be acting very fiery at this time or, or very aggressive, okay? Um, but the Four of Wands is in reverse. This talks about somebody is in a turbulent household turbulent household, a, a marriage going bad, something, a relationship going bad, something ending in a relationship, whether it's you or a partner you're with or somebody you was with or something. I just feel like they, their world is upside down now. And like I said, don't, ex don't be surprised if you don't hear from them around this time or already have, okay? Because they're going to want you to be the cleanup person. They think that they think they got you. That's how, I feel like they're narcissistic. Do you deal, if it was an ex, they're very narcissistic, and they don't give a damn about nobody but themselves. That's what I keep hearing. I don't I don't know why. Here's the emperor. You large and in charge. See, you the man or the woman. You're in charge of your own life. You ain't got time for this upside down nonsense coming from somewhere else. You got enough on your plate already. You, you've got things pretty much balanced out. You like things to be stable, okay? And you like the balance and you like things to go right. You're a planner. You, you got things under control, all right? So somebody could be dealing with the Aries, okay? Got some fire energy going on here. Now here's the nine of swords. You be dealing with the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or have been. Some of you, like I said, some of y'all is done happen. Some of you is happening, and some of you is it's gonna come back around to test you. It's things like that. Okay, so you got the the nine of swords. Some this Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra is. It's wackadoodle. I'm serious. They're whacked out. And they want to put you in that. They see you are shine. This is the emperor shines bright everywhere he go. When he walks through a door, people are looking at them. When they are walking down the street, people are watching them. When they talk, people listen. All right. And somebody is somebody don't like that light. I feel like they used to, but they don't like it. They're very surprised that you are this emperor figure. Okay, whoever this person is, it's wackadoodle crazy, going nuts, trapped in their own mind, making up stuff. Like I said, narcissistic, uh, narcissistic type things going on with them. Very narcissistic. They don't want to take responsibility for their own actions and i hear that they got a nasty nasty mouth very nasty they and they do this to everybody uh they do this to everyone there's something very mentally wrong with them and i'm hearing something like maybe you tried to help this person that that's somebody whack like this you can't help them you'll drive yourself crazy tried to help another crazy person. Can I say that? Can I say, can I get an amen? Hey, amen. All right. So we got the six of cups. Somebody from the past. Whoever this is, is, is suffering right now. If you want to make that your problem, uh, Virgos, you can. That's up to you. You got your own mind. But I feel like you just too strong for this situation. I feel like you, you always been strong. And somebody use that to their advantage. Could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Somebody's worried. Uh, Virgo, you. <laughs> Male and female. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Y'all got somebody tripping on you. Okay. So they deserve is what I'm hearing. All right. Six of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Is somebody that you moved on from or they let moved on from you, one of the two, with the Six of Swords. 
They was like, sail on, take me away. I know where I'm going, but you don't know where you're going, whoever this person was, because they still thinking about you and what you've done. Sorry. Chariot is like, there ain't no coming back from this. I don't know if you're feeling like this or the other person. I would say the other person, or I mean, I would say you is feeling like this, the chariot energy. That's a Cancerian. Some of you probably were involved with a cancer or maybe it is in their natal chart. It's like, it's over. I moved on. Okay. I moved on. I've gained my strength. Some of you talking to a Leo. I gained my strength. I tamed myself, you know, I, I, and I'm going to stay strong. Nobody's going to knock me off of my throne of authority. I am the shit. Okay. <laughs> Please leave your comments, y'all. Okay. If you like it, like Put your thumbs up, okay? Give me some comments. Share the video if you'd like. Somebody's gotten herself together and the other person's all wackadoodle out of, look, look, pictures all, you know, to the side, tip to the side. They still, they thinking about past situations. And it's probably not only just you, but other people that they have treated like this. It's like a trail. They, I'm hearing this person got a trail. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Okay. A trail of mess and they're suffering. See the tower? The tower. I just want you to look at that mess. Somebody has lost it, okay? Somebody may have lost their home. And I'm telling you, if they come back in your life, Virgo, they coming for you to make this mess and straighten it up for them. That's what they want. Nothing else. It's no love. They're going to charm. I, I told you I see a snake. I see a damn snake. Now, now, hey, don't say you haven't been told. Do what you want. Do what you feel. Do you love what you feel? Because I love what you do to me. Do you love what you feel? Wow, three of them came out. Let's go on. Let's get it. Virgo, here you go. Ace of Pentacles. You're like, nah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Ma'am, I think I just want to start a new beginning. Okay. That is the Ace of Pentacles. That is your energy. You feeling like I want a brand new beginning. Okay. Okay. I don't want to go back to a bunch of bullshit. My bad. Please don't flag the video over a curse word, okay? I'm not cursing at anybody. Keep your fingers off of it, okay? Six of Pentacles, again, your energy. It's like you are starting a new beginning with someone that you can share and care. That somebody shares with you and you share with them. That's what you want. A even give and take. You ain't for the bull. Okay? Seven of Cups in reverse. It's like, I'm not confused anymore the way I used to be. I'm not caught. I, I'm, you know, I ain't got all the... I don't want all these options. I don't need to have all these people around me. I don't need to be confused. I don't need to be nobody telling me what to do. I don't need to be all up in my emotions. I got that in check. Go ahead, Virgo. Shoot y'all. Mm, go ahead on now. Shoot. Talk to me, Virgo. Talk to me. Today. <laughs> wow, that was too many. Sit down. Do you love what you feel? Hmm. Got the two of cups in reverse. It's like you ain't taking nobody back. If it's a it's a past situation that may be coming to some of y'all, and it's like the two of cups in reverse, it's like I'm done. Like I said, you ain't in your emotions the way you used to be. Okay, you're like I'm over it. I'm over you. Leave me alone, please. If you must, 
I feel like you was dignified about the way you left the situation or didn't even care if it was the other person that left you in the cold with the five of pentacles that's your energy leaving somebody out there to spin for themselves okay you know what I mean like dropping the ball like ice cold like there you go like get the hell out of my house like leave me alone okay can't tell Virgo nothing not now they done crossed over <laughs> seven of pentacles mm, they got them some money too they hold on to their cash they like look saving some of y'all saving some money putting their little coins up and like you know just loving on yourself right now you know what I mean watching it grow that's your energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn Sun Moon Rising or Venus it's like, hey, I'm waiting. Do you see how he got his foot on that money? You see that? He got his foot on that money, like, and then, like, looking, like, okay, come if you want to. You ain't getting none of this, honey. You know, get yourself out of your own mess. I tried. I tried. And I ain't trying no more. You push me to the edge. It's so what I'm hearing. Sorry. I mean, hit the comments if that res resonates. I don't know who this I'm talking to. This is spirit. This is their platform. And they're using me to deliver the messages. That's it. I don't know what who I'm talking to. I don't know. But it's somebody. Even if it's just one person, that's fine. Got the devil in reverse. You go, Virgo. Go, Virgo. Go, Virgo. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. The devil's in reverse, so it's like, nah, 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 nah. You wish you had it, but you ain't. No, let me stop playing. And then again, I ain't. Some of y'all probably like that. Look, look, I ain't. I am not going back into this toxic situation. That's a wrap. That's, I told you it was a wrap. You still, I try to tell you. Ace of Wands, no more sexual contact. Because... <laughs> This is somebody turning down sex. <laughs> oh, Virgo, y'all are something else. Y'all crack me up. Y'all so smart and intelligent. I love y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I feel the sun shining on y'all. Y'all went through a lot. Y'all are helpers. Y'all are givers. Y'all give it your all. Y'all give it 100 on whatever you do. Work, play. Whatever, y'all give it a hundred. So you deserve a hundred right back. And I think y'all realizing that now. Okay? I really do. Five of Cups. Now somebody's in regret. Okay? They in regret and remorse because you ain't falling for the hokey dope. The oh, oh you want to do another round? You want to get in the ring with Muhammad Ali? <laughs> the Emperor? You want to mess with Muhammad Ali? You want to get in the ring with them and do another go round? Y'all better leave her go alone. Not this time. Not this time. Sorry, not this time. Virgo ain't playing. And these cards ain't freaking playing. And the messages that's from spirit ain't playing. All right? Here we go. Justice in the reverse. Some of y'all were talking to a Libra. Okay? And, you know, they're all messed up. Is all I can say. You know what I'm saying? Justice in reverse. They ain't get no. They ain't get no justice here. Not through you. They gonna have to fend for their own. Too bad. Maybe, maybe, maybe you need to change. Maybe you need to change your life. Don't keep trying to fall back. There ain't no fall back. This ain't no season for falling back. This is season for moving forward. Okay, this ain't no time for scheming and scamming because you know what? The, uh, the the veil has been lifted now and ain't nobody clear. Okay, nobody's clear. Everybody's up for, look, everybody's up for cut. All right, everybody is. The hangman, major arcana, major event. And like, I, I wait on it. I wait, you know, put you on hold. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at you like you crazy.
you know, I see you. I see you for who you are. I might have been this way before, but now I'm like this. I'm looking at it from another point of view, and I got that lightning bolt. You know what I'm saying? That lightning bolt struck me, all right? Go, Virgo. Go, Virgo. Mm, the world. Mm, you got the world at your hands right now. It's right in your hands. You got everything you ever needed and wanted, Virgo, and you're going to get more. Hallelujah. Go, Virgo. This is the most beautiful reading for those who connect with this and spirit, what spirit is saying. I mean, man. Y'all is not playing. No games. I don't see no games. You is like <laughs> you like playing the game of chess and you winning. Checkmate. Let me I'm gonna call this checkmate. Let me, where's my pen? So all y'all out there who, who's messing up trying to mess up over Virgo, guess what? Checkmate. Checkmate. That's what I'm gonna call this video damn right checkmate stop playing Virgo ain't got time for it they played with you too long they played with you too long because you freaking unstable you ain't got your emotions together you're all over the place your energy don't match my energy does this energy look like a, a, a emperor or empress energy does that look like that does that look like they belong together? Does that look like a, a good combination? No. No. You ain't whoever this person is has not pulled their self together. They're just like they're they're gone. I don't know if they're on their way to a mental place or somebody's trying to talk them into going to somewhere. But they their emotions are out of whack. With the right side up, it's like, yeah, okay, I got my emotions together. I done pulled it together. They still the shysty person that they always been, but they are a trickster. They good at manipulation. They're good at working on people's emotions and messing them all up. But guess what? It always come trucking back to them. All right. Sorry, y'all. I got it. the way I feel and emotions. These cards are very highly the energy from whoever made these cards has and. Put a lot of energy in it. If you can see all the, the colors and the, the lightning bolts. And it's like all about enlightenment here in these cards. That's why when I first got them, I, I looked at them. I'm like, I, I don't know what this is. You know what I'm saying? Is that type of stuff, you know? Because I kind of like, there's I got a whole bunch of decks, okay? A whole bunch of decks. And and uh, uh, some, some of them I could connect to and some of them I couldn't. But this deck right here, when I looked at it, I was like, no, I'm going to give this to somebody and give it away because I and I ain't going to take no time. But this, when I started really, you know, when I started using them and I felt that energy coming through, I was like, this is this. This is it. <laughs> this is it. OK, love the energy from these. And I'll tell you, then I'll put them, the link in the below. OK, to tell you what they are. But this is full of magnetic energy and I love them. I did not think I was going to connect like this. OK, you got the Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. It could be the king or the queen. OK, it's like you sitting pretty. I told you more is coming. More is coming, Mr. or Mrs. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. There's more coming. You're going to be you're shining right now, okay? You are shining. This person can't stand it. It makes them upside down that they cannot emotionally and mentally manipulate you anymore. It's tearing them apart. They're suffering because they, they really thought they could just get in. Like how they, I, I'm hearing something, get in and get out when they want. Get in, get out when they want. And you just waited. You just kept waiting and they knew it and they took advantage of it. Not anymore, because Virgo's got a clue. You see that? You see that big giant coin up there? Virgo got their stuff together, okay? That's Virgo, got their stuff together, okay? Queen of Cups in reverse, or King of Cups in reverse, whoever this other person is, is mental, I'm telling you, emotionally gone. There's two cards, three cards of them being in reverse, And it's all emotion. The temperance is emotion. And so is this uh, Queen of Cups or King of Cups. All right.
Virgo, you got somebody that's a uh, cuckoo, okay? Uh, really, that they, I guess, I, I don't know if they're persistent at what they want or, or, or if you're damaging their ego because you were so, you probably, can I say the world, you probably spoiled this person just like a child, but then you, you're like, oh, this is just too much. I feel like there was a clingy type situation. Virgos don't like to be Klingons, okay? They're not that tight. They just don't do it. I'm serious. And Libras are like that, I think. Men, the men. This person, once they get a hold of you, it's like they latch on like a like a tick would stick to, you know, like sucking your blood out of you. And it's hard to get them off your back. Okay? Whoever this person is, that's the energy that's coming through. All right? Five of Wands, they like to start conflict and mayhem everywhere they go. So if, if Virgo, let me tell you something. If you thought this was just you, no, this is just how this person is with everybody. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. So remember what you went through, okay, with this person because it's still there. The energy, they can't stand your light. They can't stand it. They, you know, like I said, Virgo, you spooled this person, okay, or they used to getting what they want like that, you know. They could be, but they're very sexually, highly sexual. It's like they like, to, they can have more than one partner, like, look. This is what I'm hearing, and I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. Virgo, any Virgos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, if this resonates with you, if this message is for you, here's another message for you. I'm hearing that, like, for some of you, if you, if there's a situation where somebody that you dealt with like this from the past, like, say, an ex or, or somebody, or, or you're in a situation, you got out of it, and they're trying to run back and all this stuff, from what I'm seeing here, that you're turning down a lot from them. But I'm getting a message. I don't know who this is for, but if you slit with them, they could come up pregnant. That's how that's how sick minded they are. Like you, you so, somebody out there got to understand. Whoever this person is, if it resonates with you, I want you to hit the comment section and tell me about it or email me, whatever. This person is so mentally ill that they, if they, you know, even if you, if you're, say, if you have someone else or if you're just, you know, to your, by yourself and you're just like, um, uh, weighing out your options and things like that, and you're done with this situation, this person don't want to be, you're damaging their ego, you're, you don't know, I don't think you notice, know some of you may, but you gotta know, understand for some of you out there that I'm hearing this, you need to get a checkup. And I'm, I'm sorry, I have to say what spirit tells me, or I can't do this. You need to get a checkup and uh, and find you know, you know, um, if you contracted any type of uh, disease or something like that. That's what I'm hearing, because whoever this person was for somebody or some group of Virgos out there, they were very very permicuous. It's like they it's like they didn't have no control over their, you know, keeping their pants or keeping their pants up or panties up or whatever, whatever the situation may be. And that was just for a few. And I don't mean to scare you like that, but you know what? You got That's what Spirit said. Now, that, you do what you want to do. That's up to you. That's the energy that I was just hearing. Some of you, and, and some of you, I feel like they are so desperate that they may try to get Say it's a one night stand. Say they ain't going to tell nobody and all that stuff. And then they're going to go off and tell somebody. And then they're going to go off and, you know, and ruin something. Try to ruin you some kind of way. Okay. Some kind of way they want to ruin you. I'm sorry about this information, but y'all seem to be got your stuff together. But there could be some out there that, that hasn't gotten here yet. For y'all that I just read that super duper 
you're fine. I, I'm picking up a few that's but something somebody might be still lingering on. You may not know about it. it. Just might pop up out of nowhere that I feel like you may be used to or something like that. And they might come to you with a uh, like, uh, oh, we'll keep it to ourselves. You know what I mean? Or something like that. And, you know, no, nobody will never know. But they might, you know, record this shit. Hear me up now. I'm just trying to tell you. They may record it. They may... um. They might have somebody like showing them going in your house or them coming in your house at night or something like that. They may just record because they out to get you and they're going to use it against you to ruin whatever you got going on for, for a, a, just a few of you out there. And be careful if you have, you know, feel like you have sex with this person, you better use something. And for those who already, you know, done something, go get checked. And I'm just going to leave that right there. Okay. Uh, see, Five of Swords. This is deception. Somebody wants to, to, to have their way at any cost. They don't care. They don't care what they do and how they do it. And they, and they plan it. They're a type of person that plans things to happen the way they want it to happen. Especially if you... This is like a... Uh, this person is like a that acrimony woman. Like I just did... Uh, Scorpios. So maybe there's a connection with Scorpio and you guys because you guys were in Scorpio's reading very heavy. Very heavy. So go check that Scorpio reading out. And this seems something similar just for a few of you that I said uh, that I've heard, that I heard from Spirit. Okay? All right? So there may be some type of connection there like that. So, yeah. Be careful of this person. Be careful, Virgo. Be careful. Stay strong. Stay in your strength because you know what? Spirit has got a better future for you. I don't know if this person is doing magic. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if they're doing magic or trying to do some type something that they're trying to do to you here. So you better keep your head up and keep your head on straight, okay? See them got them swords and shit? They don't care who they... They don't care. This person's crazy. Oh my God. But I feel like, you know, Virgo, y'all got a, a, a spirit guy watching after you. you you're fighting this off. Three of Cups. See what I said about the Three of Cups? See? The Five of Swords. I just said this. And now Spirit is coming out in the cards with it. I just said it. Any of those scenarios I gave you, this is it right here. Virgo. They're going to do whatever it takes. They're very methodical. They're very sneaky. And they will do whatever it takes to ruin you. That's what their goal is. And here is the three of cups. Even if they have to tempt you sexually. And see, this is a third party situation. Like I said, there could be, they could come in, whatever, sneak or whatever, tell you, oh, it's just a little one night thing. You know me and you, you know how we roll, something like that and whatever. And, 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 and they got somebody else out there taking pictures of them entering your home or you entering their home. Set it. It's a setup. This is a straight up setup right here. This is a setup. That's a setup. Be, be aware. Don't say you ain't been told. And I ain't trying to scare none of y'all. It is what it is. It is what it is. The spirit does what it does. <clears throat> They're going to try to ruin you. They're going to try to get you in a third party and try to <clears throat> scheme on you at that, at doing it, doing their little tricks. Tricks are for kids. Now, let me get off of that. If spirit, that's what I, I you know, I feel I had a little slight headache coming. <laughs> okay, Virgo, something rising. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. 
That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I just feel like you're going to just like chill on this shit. I just, I feel like you're just going to, you know, be, you're just going to stay to yourself. You're going to stay away for some of you. King of Wands. You could be taking on this energy, king or queen, okay? Standing in your power, standing strong, male and females. Holding on to your finances. If y'all getting some kind of money, don't let nobody know about it. Don't let nobody know about it. Don't tell nobody. Because this, whoever around you who's maybe giving you information through or trying to find information about you through a friendship or, or, or a family member. And if you tell them, you don't know that they're going back telling things that you're saying. You may know. Some of y'all may know. Okay? Some of y'all may know. But be careful of what you tell them because everything... And then, you know... I don't know. Leave it alone. Two of Wands. Moving on. You're like, look. I gotta go. I'm out. I can't. I can't deal with this. See, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look, all them people behind you. That's chaos back there. You know, that's chaos. It's up to you which road you want to take here. You got a choice. And uh, I feel like somebody using their kids or something or a kid to in this situation with the Prince of Wands. They could be very something wrong with this child or something. They got problems or something like that. But we got the sun here where you know what? You're going to be happy. You want to be happy. You don't no longer want to participate in drama and people, other people's stuff, their kids that ain't probably ain't even yours or that some of them they could be. But regardless, you're just, I just feel like some of you are, are just done. Done, done, done. Some of y'all might be on the edge of snapping on this person if they don't leave you alone or something. Snapping on them or something like that. I don't need to, those cards are so powerful, you don't really need to, um, let me just do something here. You really don't need to, this just mid-month, I'm, I'm not going to go no further than that. If y'all need a personal private reading, you know, you're welcome to do so, okay, if this message resonates. And you feel like you need some type of guidance. All right. But there you go. Okay, now I'm going to take some advice here. From Simply Loves. Love Wisdom. They're on my website if you'd like to purchase them. that has good for self-help for your at home. Okay, let's see what we come up with. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What advice can we give Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the advice here? There it goes. Okay. When love calls, you better answer. You better answer, don't let it slip away, cause you'll never find love, or whatever, whatever. Ooh, when love calls, you better answer, you better answer, don't let it slip away, hey, too many times, cause love may not ever come again. Ooh, no. Okay, that answer your question. Here we go with my cards again. Love and romance. Answer Oracle. You can have them in the 
comfort of your own home if you have some questions, okay, that you want to have answered for yourself. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, you know, if you guys uh, are in love with someone or in a relationship with someone, keep that relationship. Because just like that song I said, and if somebody else tries to come in to try to ruin this, you will be ruined or it's going to be ruined. That relationship will be done. Okay. And you'll have to deal with that same person who I told you or spirit told you about. That's what you'll have to deal with. And you can't say you ain't been told. Be happy with it. Obviously, you will. Okay, yeah, some of you uh, are with your soulmate, okay? You met the one. You already met the one. You met the one. You're with the one. A lot of you Virgos are all, for those who are already in a relationship, when love calls, answer, okay? Because that's, whoever you're with is with, that's the one. All right, in case you were teeter-totting here or, you know, contemplating something here but you know your choice is your choice that's up to you you do what you want you have free will in this world to do what you want but you know when, you know if the snake come crawling in and it bites you on the ass you know you've been told all right hey thank you guys and i'll talk to you next month hope you enjoyed your reading bye-bye